hyphens was served this is our iphone 360 reader it's time to talk about the best tips to fix iphone not showing in finder or itunes on mac or windows pc there are multiple reasons why you may need to connect your iphone to your computer by finder or itunes for instance for backing up your device locally on a computer restoring the device or restoring the device in the recovery mode you'll have to pair your ios device with your mac os or windows computer though in most cases connecting the iphone to the computer works as expected there are times when it starts throwing tantrums and your iphone does not show in the finder or items but both or not i have found survival tips to fix the problem that said let's get started first and foremost let's check out some important things that you need to do with our fail make sure you're using an mfi certified cable to begin with ensure that you're using a fully certified usb cable if your cable is not mfi certified it may not work reliably as a result the device may not appear in finder or items on your computer then I would suggest you to be sure you have securely connected your device to your computer. Another important thing that you should do without fail is to ensure that you have securely connected your mobile device to your computer. Check that the connector has made stable contact. If it hasn't, remove the cable and then plug it back in. After that, I would suggest you to ensure that the cable is not damaged. Well, it goes without saying, isn't it? Therefore, make sure the cable is not damaged or frayed out. If you are dealing with an old cable that hadn't been in use for a long time, it could be the culprit for the whole chaos. Next up, I would suggest you to clean the purse. Believe it or not, tiny particles of dust and debris are also equally responsible for the iPhone not showing in Finder or iTunes issue. Therefore, clean the ports to get rid of dust that may have sneaked inside and could be preventing the connector from making a secure connection. After that, I would suggest you to change the USB cable. If the problem persists, I would suggest you to change the USB cable as it might be creating the problem. If your device shows up in Finder on your Mac after you have changed the cable, it's the cable and not your iPhone at fault. Next up, it's time to learn the quick way to confirm that your iPhone has connected to your computer. Do know that when you connect your iPhone to your computer, the charging icon pops up on the screen thereby confirming that the device has been connected to the computer then make sure your iphone is unlocked and the home screen is visible keep in mind that if your iphone is not unlocked and the home screen is not visible it won't appear in finder therefore do check out this essential requirement with our fail next up make sure to trust your computer when you connect your iphone to your computer you will see a pop-up on your iphone to trust the computer then be sure to enter your iphone's passcode to trust the computer then connect your iphone directly to your computer make sure you have connected your iphone directly to your computer be sure not to connect to a usb hub display or other devices as it may cause obstruction then remove all other peripherals another important thing that you should do without fail is to remove all the usb devices and accessories from your computer after that reconnect the iphone to the computer and then check if the device has started to show in Finder or iTunes. If the device has started to appear, then you are good to go. Next up, set Finder settings to show your iPhone in the sidebar. Notably, Finder comes with a dedicated setting to let you show your iPhone in the sidebar. Therefore, make sure you have set it to display your connected device. To do so, open Finder on your Mac. Now click on the Finder menu at the upper left corner of the screen and choose Settings in the drop-down menu. After that, click on the Sidebar tab. Then head over to the Location section and then ensure that CDs, DVDs and iOS devices box is checked off. Next up, check to see if your iPhone shows up in the system's information. macOS provides a neat way to let you find out whether or not your iPhone appears in the system information on your Mac. To do so, plug your iPhone into your Mac. After that, click on the Apple menu at the upper left corner of the screen. Next, while holding down the Option or Alt key, click on System Information. Next up, click on the USB in the sidebar. 
Note that if your iPhone shows up under the USB menu, which means your Mac is able to register the device as connected. In this case, you should blame a rare software bug for obstructing the device from showing up in the finder. Next up, I would suggest you to force scale Finder or iTunes on your computer. If Finder or iTunes is already open, quit the app and then relaunch it. While this tip might sound quite simple, it has worked for many users. Therefore, I would suggest you to give it a try without fail. On your Mac, click on the Apple menu at the top left corner of the screen and choose Foursquare in the drop down menu. Now select Finder in the menu and then hit Relaunch. On your Windows PC, select iTunes and then press the Alt plus F4 keys to force quit iTunes, then launch iTunes again. Finally, I will suggest you to update your computer and iPhone. Should the problem persist, update both your computer and iPhone as there is a high chance that a software bug could be behind the issue. On your iPhone or iPad, open the Settings app, then click on General. After that, click on Software Update. And finally, download and install the latest iteration of iOS or iPadOS. On your Mac, head into the System Settings app and then click on General in the sidebar. Then click on Software Update and finally download and install the latest iteration of macOS. And on your Windows PC, click on the Start menu and choose Settings. After that, click on Update and Security. Then click on Windows Update and then do the needful. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem and your iPhone has started to show in the Finder or iTunes all over again. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye.